Man 978 Chill Review. Hello everyone, T Man 978. Right now I'm reviewing Transformers Combiner Wars Decepticon Chop Shop. He is a Legends class figure, you already knew that. He's a remote retool of Scrap Mole. His bio back here says Master Thief wants to steal everything he sees and he has the skills to do it. Inside the packaging he comes with this collector's card right here which is basically it's the same exact picture as on the packaging it has the regular Transformers logo on the back the Transformers Generations logo and of course he comes with instructions and here is Chop Shop himself he's a nice little figure of course, if you already own Scrap no, you already know the deal with him. The only thing they replaced is his head. Which is nicely detailed, might I add. Come on and focus on. Okay, there we go. It's a new head. His new design is painted, but the paint kind of blends in with the, with the plastic. That's my only gripe with this figure. They did put a lot of paint, like... There's some red paint there. This is mostly orange and white. Of course, the Decepticon logo. But the face has orange on it, but it's hard to see. Orange and red. And a little bit of silver, but it is definitely hard to see. And as you can see, the head can turn because it's on a mushroom peg back there. And if you look beyond these legs, it does kind of look like a hollow mess in the back. So there's that, but... You're supposed to look at these things from the front. He is covered with details. This is nicely painted right here, orange. You can probably see that better in person. There's silver on the side right here on these side vents. And yeah, he's a nice little Legends class figure. These are basically static in robot mode, unless you want to point them up, which you do have the option to do that. Here's a bulge in it shoulder right here that goes out that much of course he has the bug leg kibble right there and the shoulder can do this thanks to the transformation and he has a bulge on the elbow no waist swivel but he has a bulge on the hip that can kick forward that much kick back until it gets to the kibble right there kick out to the side and he has a bulge on the knee that bends way more than 90 degrees and of course can swivel because it's on a ball joint and he has this toe the toe can point down, but that's not really useful as far as posing them. But one of my other gripes besides the paint blending in and whatnot, he can, comes with no weapon at all. So I guess he's a brawler or you have to pretend that he can shoot out of these things at people. Like Shrapnel did in a G1 cartoon. But yeah, he's cool. Transformation. What you want to do is, let's see, let's start with the feet. Point the feet down and bring this shin guard to the front. I wish this shin guard could stay in the front, but then his feet can't go forward. Go ahead and push his head back and lift this whole chest panel forward and up so you can see this gun port, which he has no gun for, which I'll keep, I already mentioned. Bring this crotch piece down. Bring the legs out right here, the bug legs. Let's go ahead and swivel these bug arms back. Put the shoulders all the way back and then rotate the forearms so they can peg into these pegs right there. On both sides. Go ahead and start lifting this up. Plug the legs together and rotate this up like this until it stops and basically you might have to fiddle with this this is the second time I transformed it and the shoulders come apart somewhere in there I, I don't know which step it does that oh yeah and these were like this and we'll move these forward so now he has like mandibles or fangs or whatever you call this on this type of beetle and these pins right here have a dual purpose. They're pins, but they can also double as eyes. But well, he's a nice little bug. The legs don't really have any articulation. I mean, you can do this a little bit, but 
That's it. They still have the fake legs like G1 shrapnel. But it does look like a robotic beetle. I guess you just have to move it around like this. Most articulation it has is these opening horns right here. And the fangs open up. But it's a cool, decent little figure. I would just wish it came with guns. That's, that would be my mo main gripe. No guns. Hasbro really needs to, and please, if Hasbro is listening, you guys need to start selling weapons packs. Sell, like, Legends class weapon packs, maybe 10 weapons in a pack, deluxe, maybe six, and then leader slash Voyager class weapons, maybe four in a pack or something like that. You guys need to get on that, especially if you're not going to pack in weapons. Make it affordable, $5 or something, $4.99. Anyway, he's cool. I like him. He'll do for my Combiner Wars figures. Anyway, if you like this video, give me a like, share, subscribe, comment. T-Man978, out of here.